So hello guys, welcome back to another video. So for today, we'll be having a pen test. So I divided um, my videos actually um, into different types of pens so as not to overwhelm you guys. Uh, just a disclaimer, I am not in any way uh, an expert in describing these pens but um, I just want to share as a beginner what my experiences are with the different types of pens. So without f further ado, let's start. So I'll be um, sharing with you uh, my experience um, with least um, eight brands of brush pens so for this video we'll be um, focusing on brush pens so to start we have these tumbo brush pens these are dual tip markers um, which have a brush pen on one end and a colored pen fine tip color pen on one end so um, I like these pens because um, well their brushes aren't that firm or that soft. I'd say they're like a medium type. So it gives you more control. And it's perfect for your cursive letterings. So that's on one end. That's the brush tip. And then you have your fine tip over here which writes like your usual colored pen like so so perfect for labeling or your simple lettering styles and what I like about Tombo is that um, they have a great color selection as compared to your other brands so as you can see I have two types of paper over here I prepared a craft paper so you could see the difference in the color register of each pen um, depending on the color of your paper but um, my regular cream colored paper is actually thin so the pens might bleed um, and I think bleeding is more of the function of the paper rather than the pen itself so as you can see um, this cream colored pen registers differently depending on your type of paper but it doesn't vary much but in person it looks lighter in the craft paper as compared to your cream color so I think that's another um, tip in choosing um, your colors whenever you make spreads um, I think you should consider the type of paper that you're using and how it will affect the color of your pens. So, well, with um, Tombo, um, it, as you can see, it doesn't vary that much um, in terms of the hue. Um, it still looks the same, and it. What's nice is that its its color is actually close to the color of the cup. So. What you see is actually what you get. Plus the color selection is really nice. Um, there are sets of Tombo. Um, but I prefer to buy them in individually. So I get to choose the color and I'm not forced to buy colors that I don't actually use or I'm not fond of. Um, though I haven't really checked if um, buying a set is actually more cost effective I'm not sure I haven't completed but uh, well an individual pen would cost you around 144 pesos that's roughly uh, $3 so there so as you can see the other the lighter colors actually they're the ones that are tricky in terms of having a um, hue difference in craft and in cream colored paper so but um, well in the camera it doesn't vary that much but in person it does it looks lighter here in the craft paper as compared to here so that's my main comment about tumble 
next brand that we will be trying out is the Hoi brush pens. So these are um, just your usual brush pen. Um, they're actually nice. They're, they're, they're a brush tip is actually similar to your um, Dumbo ones. They're not that firm nor that soft so it gives you that control and it's perfect for doing your cursives and your scripts. Um, but my um, comment would be in terms of accessibility um, it's not as easily available as Tombow pens. I think um, I was just able to buy this um, from one of the branches of National Bookstore, not in all branches. Or maybe you can try um, the, the craft stores. Maybe they would have more color selection as well. But in terms of color selection, Tombo has more. But um, they also have unique colors. That's what I like about it. Um, oh, I just have to comment about the pink one earlier that I tried. So. Um, it, it, it looks blush colored the, the pen the, the pen cap but it actually writes like a peachy corally pink on paper it looks actually brighter on craft paper than in cream colored one so but depending on your on your um, what you're drawing um, it could work for you and the last one is this um, leafy green I like this color. It's like arm green. It registers really well on craft. I like how it looks on craft. And it also looks nice on cream colored paper. Okay. So our next brand would be from um, Faber Castell. So these ones, are they're much like the Tombow and Koi pens. But um, I think one of my comments would be one accessibility also not all well if you're a national bookster um, enthusiast or frequent visitor um, not all branches would have it um, plus if they do uh, their color selection isn't also as wide as the tombow ones they're much like koi but um, I happen to um, chance upon these lovely colors um, I bought them individually but they look so good together like they're earthy colors and very warm so I had this one in like a green um, sage green I would say so sometimes if I use them separately the koi one and this one I always think they have the same color but now that I'm oh right koi now that I'm trying them out, I can now see the difference. So this one's um, a much cooler green as compared to the other one. Uh, my only comment is these um, Faber-Castell brush pens, they tend to have a loose fibers with um, repeated use. I used this uh, particular pen in one of my monthly spreads and so um, there it has some small fibers like a split ends in the hair so that's what you need to watch out for I love this um, bright yellow like a sunny yellow it looks good on craft and on cream colored paper and of course, one of my favorites also is this rusty brown. Um, it's just, just a unique color. And them together really looks, looks nice. Okay, now moving on to the next brand. So these are the Platinum Brush Pens I also got from National Bookstore. Um, they're actually like dupes or cheaper versions of the Tombow, the Koi, and the Faber-Castell brush pens because I think they're just 60 pesos, so a little more than a dollar. Um, their color selection, um, they also have a variety of um, colors. Um, what's nice about this, particularly these two, they're dual tips. So you have a brush pen on one end and a finer 
here. So it's not your usual color pen, but it's more of like a, a sign pen, a felt tip pen with the same color as the cap. So this one's in the brand Platinum. Oh, uh, well, my comment about the brush tip is that it's more firm. It's definitely more firm than the other brush pens that I showed earlier. So this one, I'd say, would be more useful for um, your serifs, maybe, or your sans serifs, not your cursive, just your usual print um, letterings. Oh, and the, the felt tip pen, it's finer as compared to this one. So you can actually write small texts with it. I got it in this purple color and this warm, like caramel brown color. On craft, it looks similar to the Faber, but in person, it's actually not. The Faber is more of a rusty color. So this one's more like caramel brown. So this other one is also from Platinum, but it's not a dual brush. Um, oh no, it's not a dual tip, it's just a brush pen. And what's unique about this is that it has a very flimsy um, brush tip. So let me show you. See how it glides really like a brush, like a watercolor brush. So the bristles just spread and the ink spreads with it. So if you were after the watercolor vibe or effect, then this is the brush pen for you. Um, my comment would be, if you're trying to use this for cursives, for example, it gives you less control of the bristles, making it kind of hard to give that form to your letters if you know what I mean I think you have to try it for yourself to actually get it but I'm sure um, most of you um, who've had experience with lettering and brush pens would would get it also um, I recommend getting this if you're yeah as I've said you're trying to um, get that watercolor vibe so I'd recommend this probably if you're filling in some shapes or you're like drawing dark gray clouds or something, sky or something like that. But for lettering, maybe you'll pass out on this one. So um, yeah, but I like the color. If you can see the color. Um, it's actually darker on craft paper and I love the perfect grayish blue color on cream colored ones so i can actually draw dark cloudy sky with it okay so we now go to the cheaper ones so we go to the brush pens that i got these are actually um calligraphy pens i got it from daiso uh, during the first parts of the quarantine when the mall was newly opened so um, these are in black um, these are Chinese calligraphy pens but they look like brush pens the tip but they're a lot firmer if platinum brush pens are have firm brush tips this one's firmer because I think they're they're supposed to write Chinese I don't know how to write in Chinese but I think they're supposed to write in the, the sharp edges know some Japanese characters like, like that one I remember that from Japanese class so um, I think if you want that effect this is nice um, I got it in a set so that writes like that and this one's thicker so, that. so in, there's actually not much difference when you write it on craft or on cream colored paper 
it's just the same it's just a nib that's that's different actually but it, it for its price it's not that bad and of course i got a set in color i got the muted red and a bright yellow one so so the brush is still firmer than that of, of the other pens but I think you can work with it in when writing cursive Let's see. It still works and I like um, the red actually on craft because it doesn't look shocking red it is kind of muted um, almost with an orange rusty hue to it so I like it and then we now go to the type of brush pens these are actually quite new I got this I think last month and I got it as a set they have sets of um, nudes like this one with the basic colors and they have the primary colors of course I had to get the nude ones because well, I find it more aesthetic in my spreads. Um, these are uh, dual dual tip markers as well. So you have brush pen on one end, and you have like the platinum one. You have a um, felt tip fine liner on one end. So it's actually nice for its price. I think I got this for three hundred pesos. That's around six dollars. So on craft. This is the first color, and it is actually my favorite color. It is a light black or gray black color. It's really nice, both on craft and on cream colored paper. And this one's its counterpart. You can perfect for lettering or just writing your journal entries. This is the black one, the jet black color. So it's not actually jet black because it's kind of still can see through the color um, um, it's not like your pencil pen kind of black you can the, the, the paper still peeks through it so this one's the light gray so so nice but on craft it um, looks very very light now we go to the browns. This one's the caramel brown. Oh, it looks nice and craft. And on ordinary paper. And this one's like your skin tone, your flesh color. Um, this one is the color in the set that doesn't really look like the cap. The others look like the ones in the cap. You can see though, so it's brighter. It's, um, it looks sorry for that. It looks more peach than flesh. And then they got this like a baby pink color, but it's not really baby pink. Well, on craft it is not. And I think cream colored, it's not so much. It looks baby pink or a bit darker baby pink on camera, but in person it looks a tad brighter, like coral pink. So um, now we go to the Miniso pens. So I, the, 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 I would say these are my starter brush pens because they're actually my first brand um, to own. Um, one because they're more available any anywhere any Miniso branch I go, they're available um, and they're cheap. I got this for three for for 100 I think that's around less than a dollar each okay so I shall try my best to test again in both so um, in terms of color selection um, there are more of the primary colors with some variation they're mostly blues and greens and yellows and reds um, with just a change in the brightness or in shade a bit but they're, they're not so pastely. So we first, oh, these are dual dual tip markers as well. So you have here, it's much like your Tumbo ones, but cheaper. And the brush pen on one side and the fine tip on the other. 
so let's now try so these i'd say the tip is actually similar to your more expensive ones but of course um the more expensive ones would give you <clears throat> more grace or more fluidity when you're riding cursive um, the color payoff i couldn't complain for its price it's not it's not bad at all that's why i kind of settled for this when i was starting to collect plus you you get to some find some gems in certain branches like this color so you just have to get it because you feel like you won't see it in other branches which is kind of true because you don't see them as often as you would <clears throat> um, the other more normal colors so this one's in bright um, reddish pink I'd say plus if you would notice their register in craft and in cream colored paper it's actually similar so you don't have to worry about um, being different or um, having a different shade or they might not be seen because in, to, in, in fairness even the light ones can be seen oh, we'll see. so this is the first light color it's a light yellow so test it first in cream color even in cream color it's a bit too light so you might consider um, not using it as often just maybe to highlight some stuff let's try it in craft paper oh on camera it's seen but in person it's a bit too bright <laughs> too bright and too light but on camera it looks nice actually um, then this light blue sky blue it's nicely also oh but i think um, another comment would be the consistency of the brush differs from one pen to another um some miniso brush pens are have firmer brush tips than the others i'm not sure if i'm explaining it um clearly but like the green one earlier it's kind of firmer than the blue one i don't know but maybe some of you would notice it also if you use it often so we go to the black one oh this one i'd like to compare it to the typo ones because this one oh, like this one um the brush is actually softer than the others so it tends to spread the ink like that like so so the black of the miniso is actually darker than the ones from I'm not sure if it's clearly seen but in person if as i said the paper peeks through and um through the color in the typo brush pens but here it does not it's like jet black really black and then we're down to the last two colors for me so i got this some um, pink really light so this really light pink color it is seen on camera but on in person not so much see i actually couldn't see it but then the camera oh i can see it so if you're um, doodling for like videos like this or you want to take pictures of your work I think it would work but it's actually hard to assess because you can't see it for yourself um, so you don't know where the letters are oh this one this one has a softer tip again see what I mean it's like I'm writing with invisible and then I can just flash it with a camera and I can see it <laughs> but in person it's hardly ever seen okay so my last um, brush pens would be from from the brand Faber-Castell but these are not the the other ones 
this one is the set. Um, it's actually in primary colors. It's like the one that we use for doodling, like grade school style. So I have to use another paper already. Um, these ones are actually one of the first, again, um, first sets that I bought. Because then I had limited choices. In terms of its brush, they're kind of firm. Um, maybe between the platinum and the tumble ones. So, but you can still work your way um, in in writing cursive words. See, my only comment is that one the only the well the set offers just primary colors so well they come in handy sometimes if you need just a plain red or a plain green but if you are into um, making aesthetic spreads which are you know commonly involves using pastel or grays or different hues of gray and different shades of pink and blues um, this set might not work for you but if you're looking for yeah, as I've said plain colors to once in a while go to your basics then this is actually good I've had this for almost a year already I am not using it as often but look at how it still writes well so it's color on craft and on cream paper doesn't really vary that much I guess because it's a primary color so wherever you write it um, they would register the same that's the beauty of primary colors I think um, it's less sophisticated and there are less considerations in using it so it's actually nice and I think it would work well for doodles or for filling in shapes and because look, even if I try to shade with it, it doesn't fade. Um, not that any of these would fade, but unlike your usual color pens, the, the one we use in grade school, um, they tend to fade after a long time of shading. So these one, they do not. Oh, I just noticed. Look, the faber here, the blue one. They differ a bit. Looks more um, like a navy blue in here and here. It's just your basic blue. So that's another trick um, of, of using different medium um, craft and um, regular paper. But um, depends actually on what you want to do. So we're now down to my last color. See, these are basic colors, and I think they still come in handy depending depending on your project. So there, those are my brush pens so far. So I'm still collecting some more. Um, I'd be updating you if I had a significant addition to my collection. But I guess that would be it for now. See you on my next videos. Bye!